with Jade Hop and Antonio Schoenhardt. Hello and welcome back to Thursday News Break. I'm Jade Ha. And I'm Antonio Schoenhart. Here are tonight's top stories. A new TikTok trend where teens kick down random person's doors to the song Die Young by Kesha is resulting in said persons calling the police in fear of a home break-in. Do the trend in any of these states and you too may die young. <laughs> Dr. Oz is officially running to be Pennsylvania's next United States Senator. Hopefully this goes better than the last time we elected a reality TV star or the last time an old dude with the last name Oz was left in charge. A sedan was dragged down an Illinois highway after it was lodged under a tractor trailer. But don't worry, it turns out it was only Mac breastfeeding his child. <laughs> Meanwhile in India, a goat entered a government office and successfully stole official documents. So don't you ever tell me Nicolas Cage didn't inspire others. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un can officially add fashion police to his resume after he recently banned leather jackets within the country so others wouldn't, quote, steal his look. So you better stock up on orange face paint and blonde toupees now, just in case Donald Trump decides to throw his hat in the ring in 2024. Everyone grab your dads and your butts, because this story is sure to be an interest to both. A man in England accidentally got a World War II shell stuck up his badonkadonk. Oh, yeah. You know, because cleaning World War II memorabilia naked is a regular pastime. Hey, Jade, don't knock it until you try it. Okay. <laughs> Last Saturday, LL Cool J premiered a series of Cheeto-based works of art. Here to talk about it is LL Cool J. Sup, LL Cool J. So why Cheetos? Well, you know what they say about rap? I used to be a rapper, in case you didn't remember. Rap is like poetry, and poetry is like art. And you know what they say about art? Expression, man. Really? They're paintings of Cheetos. Uh, how can they be like poetry? How could they not? It's really the Cheeto that makes it all. Cheeto? What, what exactly is that? It's the dust. You know, and not the kind you snort. Although, I have done that. White, orange, doesn't matter to me. Okay, but like, really? Why Cheetos? Man, I really like that cat. Chester <laughs> Cheetah? Yeah, kitty cat's tight. And I heard it was on a four-story yacht for some reason. Yeah, that was my designer Lefty Out There's choice. <laughs> God, dude, it was crazy. Like, I've never been on a boat before, so except for that like one time where I stood in this rowboat in this like sand pit. Right, yeah. right, so why is your name Lefty so, what happened was I threw up over the side of the boat because, you know, seasick, yeah, but really, it was that Cheeto dust. I do not like cheese that much. Man, that's crazy. I also do not like cheese. Dude, that is crazy. Wow. Well, it was great having you guys. Bye now. Cheese. You know, not nah. cheese dust. Mm -mm, Don't not do for it. Me. <laughs> not doing it for me. The 11,000-year-old Four Corners potato was recently rediscovered in Utah. The potato has an eight-year shelf life and is resistant to disease, heat, and drought. It will be replacing Queen Elizabeth as ruler of England. A Minnesota man has tested positive for the Omicron variant after attending Anime NYC 2021. I always knew anime would lead to our downfall. Just never knew how. A lizard hid in a suitcase of a 54-year-old woman and flew 4,500 miles from sunny Florida to the chilly northeast of England. The lizard also gave the woman quite a scare as it took the flight unvaccinated. In other airplane news, a turtle gun loose crossed a runway causing flight delays. We've all heard the classic story of what happens when the chicken crosses the road. But what happens when the turtle crosses the runway? Well, apparently it can't go home for the holidays. The Gerber baby turned 95 last week. Coincidentally, now that she's 95, Gerber baby food is all she can eat. <laughs> Brian Kelly, seen here watching a same-sex couple kiss, has developed a newfound Southern accent after joining LSU's football team as their head coach. Let's hope this team is finger-licking good. <laughs> Bro, that's Kentucky. It's more like, love that Elysia State University. 
Over 60 pub goers were stuck in a pub with an Oasis cover band for three days in England's highest altitude pub. Apparently everyone was in really good spirits about the whole thing. I guess I would be in good spirits too if I had an endless amount of alcohol to push me through the endless stream of Wonderwall. <laughs> Today is never going to be the day, Oasis. Never. Didn't we make a Wonderwall joke last show? Yeah, because they're so easy to make fun of. They suck. Well, I mean, I can't argue with facts. That's all for Thursday Newsbreak. I'm Antonio Schonart. And I'm Jade Ha. Good night, everybody.